Molly House for Margaret Clapp. My dresses are living and breathing. They glow at the edges like pastel ghosts and cry out when manhandled or rudely hoiked up. My dresses lie folded away in a trunk. For weeks they've been huddled together, unable to breathe. When I unfold them and loose them into the room, they begin to sing. Imagine their voices transforming this bedsit into a pool of light. Then a stream that carries us gently through decades. Now imagine them crammed in a molly house, shoulder to shoulder with all sorts, souped in sweet breath and stale sweat, Imagine checking the street once more before crossing the thresholds. In from the streets, from the byways, the alleys, in from the docks and the public parks, in from the pissoirs, the fields, from the farmyards, the farmhands, the fancy men, fishmongers, the navvies, night walkers, the working johns, the link boys, the snuffers, the pimps and the thieves, the merchants, the urchins, the Johnny-come-latelys, the sergeants, the surgeons, the backgammon players, the mollies, the punks and the inverts. Mother Clapp's house has room for us all. Imagine me, pressed close with my fancy man, false eyelash to clavicle, dancing our way out of the 18th century into the marriage bed at the house's heart. My dresses are all that is left, after my fine bone body has twitched at the end of a rope. My dresses are household rags. They are dipped in vinegar and warm water over and over. They keep the dust at bay. They keep the drafts from beneath the doors.